All right, we're connected to it. It's this one right here. It says TF765BT car. That's connected to this device here. And you can see we have CarPlay enabled and then you can see your camera. You could switch that to, to the back. This would be our back camera. We'll show that when we're actually in motion. But um, as far as CarPlay is concerned, we could program in an area. Start our destination. Head southeast on Gulfview Street toward US 319 South, US 98 West, then turn left onto US 319 North. So you can see it's able to detect that. We could hit the play button and we could listen to um, the radio. <laughs> I'm not gonna play it, but if I wanted to, I have a Johnny Cash playlist. I could do that. I can make a phone call. Let's call Julie. Yes. Hello, Hold Julie. On. We're ta we're calling you from the Halo View. How are you? You can call me from there? I know, it does so many things. Okay, we're That's hanging up. So cool. It is cool, isn't oh. it? <laughs> I love it. Bye. Bye. And back to the map. So you can see this thing does quite a bit of, of stuff. Um, we can... Uh, Have all this display just like normal car play if we wanted to. Now Julie's texting me. And you, we could hit that to play the text. Hey Siri, navigate to Fathom's restaurant. Getting directions to Fathom's restaurant and bar. Let's go. Starting route to Fathom's restaurant and bar. So you can see we can navigate uh, using Siri. Um, we can do really anything with that you can do with a normal CarPlay. Very cool. All right, guys, we are on the road now, and the Halo View is working perfectly. Um, I do want to show a couple features while we're actually on the move. If I hit driving recorder, it's going to pop up the front screen. So this is our dashboard cam. If I slide that to the side, it switches it to the back. As you can see, a car just passed me. You can set up both. So you can have, you can see the front and the rear. I like being able to see the rear because that's just like your rear view mirror. And that's a very cool option. I do need to adjust the rear camera just a little bit um, so I can get a little further out to see traffic behind me a little better. But this thing is working great. Um, if you go hit the button, you can go back to the home screen. Um, so you can hit CarPlay and that'll connect with your phone and you can see your text messages. We already talked about that feature, um, but again, you can adjust so you can see your car play and your rear screen or your front screen whatever you want to do you hit the button go back to home and you can go back to the driving recorder which is what I like this is recording everything and um, you can see behind you really well and these cameras are very very clear way clearer than what I was using before I've been very impressed with this system you can do voice commands as well, um, as we saw in, uh, in some previous testing that I did. You can see all that. What I like about this the most is that it mounts to your rear view mirror. So it's, it, it feels very natural when you look up and, and to see behind you and actually see behind the RV. So it feels really natural. In my other setup, I had a, a rear view uh, camera as well, but it mounted up over here 
and it really blocked my view out through the, the windshield. And with this setup, with my GPS and my uh, rear view camera here, I, can, I still can see across the dash with everything that I've got going on in my setup. So it works great, been very impressed. Um, I would highly recommend this system, it works really well. So we're now on our second time of using the Bike Tango BT12 unit um, from Halo View and we are still very impressed. As you can see, I've adjusted my rear view uh, camera a little bit, so now I get a little further out view um, and it's working very well. Um, again, we've been very impressed with the unit and it continues to function and perform very well.